Our next speaker, Mr. Hassan Abdul Ali, General Manager, Services Delivery and PMO at Oman Data Park, speaking on today's topic, AI, HBC, and cloud transformation. Over to you, Mr. Hassan. Thank you, Melwan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a pleasure to be having you all together, sharing with you Oman Data Park Cloud Services and AI platform that is enabled for multiple verticals, including the energy. Uh, in short, Oman Data Park is established in 2011. We are the first cloud service provider and many service provider in Oman. We have three data centers across the Sultanate. The, the prime one, uh, two are in the Muscat area and one is in Dukum. We have almost 600 plus customers on board, uh, oil and gas, telecom, banking, insurance, healthcare, and governments, and many other verticals also. 20% of our workload is uh, servicing Europe as well. So we have two in capitals, and third one is 500 kilometers away from the home. The total power we serve is almost now uh, 1.2 megawatts into the home, which is a knowledge of Oman. And we have almost about 500 kilowatts we are servicing in Wataya and Dokom also like 500 kilowatts. So totally we are servicing a three data center and we are building the fourth one to serve our different customers from co-location services to the cloud IaaS, PaaS, SaaS, and many services, including the AI workload. Now, what is the cloud? As I said, cloud is an elastic model where you need a, a workload on demand, uh, starting with the infrastructure service. What you need is just uh, taking the power of the computing, which is required to upgrade or downgrade, depends on your workload. Then when you come on platform as a service, you are overtaking the headache of the licenses of the platform. And as well as uh, you take the many model here with from Oman Data Park. We have also a software as a service. There are many softwares which we are offering from the Microsoft technology, from uh, Oracle. We do have also NHAD. And we do also offer many of security services as well. We also offering workspace as a service in many uh, product over the cloud as a service. And lastly, we have came up on artificial intelligence as a service where the customer can enjoy with different type of workload. Right now, we, our uh, offer is, is, is crossing 10 uh, petaflop of the computing power. Now, uh, data center goes side by side with the AI services and cloud services. Therefore, our, we are almost scaling uh, vertical and horizontal into the computing power, a uh, different type of workload uh, from, as I said, Intel base and even uh, non Intel base uh, environment such as uh, Oracle. And uh, also, we are positioning uh, some other dedicated computing power. Well, also, not to mention that uh, I, uh, that's very important, we are offering even Colo. Uh, with different type of power from 3 kilowatts, 6 kilowatts, 10 kilowatts, 15 kilowatts, and 20 kilowatts, depending on your need. Now, uh, why I need cloud? Cloud actually is avoiding from you uh, to procure the equipment and the software services, and it's on demand, and you can elastically scale your computing power based on your requirements. So we're offering complete model for compute storage, and uh, it's with a full uh, managed network as well as automated manage management services, aside of the managed services, which is dedicated for each one separately. I mean, separately, I mean for oil and gas separate, energy separate, uh, bank separate, insurance separate. Each one has his, uh, depends on the workload and the uh, need which he required to uh, attend from the cloud service. We have a glo global presence, of course, though we are in Oman, but uh, our service also consumes from Europe as well. Now, uh, most important, this slide is very, very important. Uh, when you are strategically thinking to move to the cloud and AI services. Now, the first one on the left side is an on-prem where you uh, position your complete uh, data center facilities from chiller, cooling, generator, power and electrical. And then you start building blocks from your server network storage and the virtualization. And then that comes IaaS. Then you jump to the platform where you are uh, buying perpetual licenses 
for your operating system. And finally, last, that's which is important, is you are leasing the application, such as SAP as a service, Exchange as a service, and many other databases and services. Many services you require, but you don't consume, or don't, you don't pay for any of the licenses. So the more you upscale your uh, cloud model, it's, it is, it's more beneficial. And we are giving you some of the figures, which is from our experience, 30% cost cuts when you come as a polo, because you still maintain your own hardware. When you come to the infrastructure, and then you are reducing 35 to operating, 40% from operating uh, perspective, operating cost. Aside of the capex, which is zero, you don't pay anything here, but you rent. And then uh, when you come to platform as a service, then we took all the responsibility for the platform and there's no licenses. You don't need to license for Windows and all type of the uh, operating systems. And we also take the responsibility of security. Each layer has its own security, and we can be make sure that is already injected within our model. It depends on the layer you select. When you come uh, software as a service, uh, then you are operating wise, you are reducing the cost 50%. And AI is considered in between between platform and uh, apps as a service, what we are offering. Now, uh, this is showing you um, another. Uh, View uh, which is showing you different type of technologies which is going to be challenging for you from expanding your data centers and your infrastructure, your platform. And lastly, we are also um, we are offering a microservices which is Kubernetes, part of the which is called Cask container service that can be uh, of, uh, operating multi uh, load of AI applications. Now, each layer is secured by itself. Is designed to be secured by itself. If you take a colo, then we guarantee security is measured all the uh, standards, which is fulfilling oil and gas and energy. Likewise, banks. Each one, has, each one have his own security framework, and we make sure that it's being delivered with the managed. Now, <clears throat> why we do need to do transformation to cloud? Number one is very important. See this slide. I don't want to go and uh, dive deep into each one, but highly. Uh, the, the new applications which is coming and developed into the international market right now, which is completely cloud model. So cloud code is a, it's a hot topic right now. So all the transformation which is happening right now is modeled to be cloud, even on-prem cloud, hybrid cloud, or public cloud. So the, the, the code is being rebuilt now to be uh, taking consideration of the cloud. And of course, the computing power, which is a central processing unit, which is a sequential processing, and GPU is a, of course, parallel processing, and that, therefore this transformation is happening very fast now. Uh, it's the, as I said, the cloud code is has been a major change, uh, cloud runtime, cloud foundation, and most important is your data, because the transformation which is happening and the technology is so fast. But what you own is your data. So data is very, very important. Therefore, we are offering you a big data platform where you can do a lot of analysis from AI and, uh, and, and, and different uh, products and services within the AI. I will highlight this in the coming slide, what uh, offers are some of the AI subsystems. And it's more important is the collaboration. So when you are on the cloud, if you want oil and gas, connect to the bank, bank wants to connect to the government, this is completely seamless. And it's very easy that collaboration can happen into the cloud since they are running on the same platform, the same technology. Not to mention security is being considered highly now in this transformation of the cloud. I think the entire journey of the world is moving into the cloud very fast in a very um, active uh, milestone because the, the, the security is being addressed at each layer and each component within the cloud. There, there's no challenges of the connectivity, as I said. The legacy system is broken down because you are coming into Microsoft service and you need elastically growth. Therefore, all the legacy systems within all type of verticals is going to get broken into pieces and start intercommunicating. Zero downtime, this is very important for us, for energy, yeah, that you are looking for an, a model which is, is almost, almost zero downtime, or at least very high SLA has been provided 99 0.98. So what Monte the Park is offering to its, to its customer is 99.98. Aside of cost, there's no capital, zero capex. And as I was showing previous slide, the capex is also dramatically going to go down. 
and you are we are fulfilling all the regulations with the government and uh, for example which is coming from uh, ITA telecommunications also with the central bank and different kind of uh, regular bodies which in which is now internationally and locally as well and not to mention that is open system very easy to scale your environment now <clears throat> this slide is very important what what you are saying here we telling you gentlemen please Ladies and gentlemen, do not focus on your infrastructure and hardware and technology. Just focus on your data and AI. How we can achieve AI? I am showing some of the business cases which we are considering in our AI platform, particularly for the energy. <coughs> and, and of course, IoT. Because in energy, you need a lot of IoT, especially with the kind of uh, like uh, remote devices uh, that can be with the cameras and that can be go and scale uh, your existing hardware and even for the maintenance purposes. We, we, we are also giving an environment which is a Kubernetes and container Docker that can be completely a CDIC environment, is continuous development, continuous integration. So with this kind of technologies on board, it is giving you a complete freedom for a business innovation and software as a service. Where you can you can consider different kind of framework which can fit your environment. Now uh, uh, this is slide is also very important. Now uh, cloud, uh, of course, middleware is, can be used anywhere, but within the cloud is very important because it is going in giving a complete is, uh, highway bus uh, that can connect government with oil and gas, with telecom. Each sectors can connect with others without having. Uh, cost of the, uh, let's say, uh, uh, telecommunication, maybe metropolitan network, end-to-end, -end, uh, even fiber connection. So by having these whole platform running on the same environment uh, on the cloud, it's very easy, or you can orchestrate your complete workflow and your processes. Now here, we are very much encouraging this environment because we, we see the monarchical environment, which is a big bag, uh, applications is going to get broken into a pieces and start communicating into a microservice environment. Therefore, the ecosystem is already there in the world. Of course, uh, banks and insurance buy and, and oil and gas and telecom, each one have its own. But later on, these ecosystems also will grow uh, from zone to zone. Telecom wants to communicate, for example, with oil and gas, energy wants with bank, bank with telecom. It depends. So the, the microservices is the is the is the gateway to interconnect all of these processes now this is this is this is a very important slide here that what is hpc and why we do need hpc see over that part, a very important point hpc has been coined in 1950s if i'm not wrong if this is my memory could it calls me back because, because at that time it was called under the uh, name of uh, IBM Super uh, Mainframe and, uh, and, uh, and Fujitsu Mainframe. But over the time, it didn't, didn't take up because the data size was not enough. Now, today, the data size is going to set a fight across the world. The IoT is, is generating each mobile, device, any device connected to the internet and generating the data is an IoT device. Imagine the, uh, the real time cameras. The uh, mobile, the, the what's called the uh, CCTV cameras, uh, and, and any devices that connected to the internet generating information and users, it is an IoT. So IoT is growing fast, and with the exploration of the telecommunication now with the 5G, the bandwidth is very scalable and very big. So that these three major uh, First three major points are generating the demand of AI. So AI is, 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 is sitting on the ocean of the data where it can cook a kind of processing kind of requirement and problems in order to satisfy. Yeah, there are different kind and application of the artificial intelligence. Machine learning and deep learning is a subset of an AI. AI is a, let's define an AI. See, an artificial intelligence is a theory in the development of computer systems that are able to perform tasks with a normal required human intelligence. So we are looking some kind of brain sets of a human, of course, cannot be like a human brain set, but at least likely to, to act in an intelligent way. So therefore, there are three layers. There are startup layers of the AI, 
and there are advanced layers, of course, for AI. Now, we are at the beginning. Therefore, these uh, like uh, requirement of data, we have huge data, you need to move it into intelligence. Therefore, you see, we have an eyes. Therefore, there are visual perception, perception, uh, perception from, from the computer. We speak now. You understand my language. You want computer also to speak like us. We want to do this. We are doing decision making. We want computer also to do decision making. We do a language translation. So these are different type of application, which is somehow is used a human intelligence in order that can facilitate the business problems. So the growth of the data, as I said, and the power of the computing and computer, as I said, there are different type of computer power CPUs. A central processing unit, then GPU, which is graphical processing unit, which is running in parallel, and then there is a tensor flow processing unit, and there is a data processing unit, and the processing start coming day by day more advanced. Not to mention quantum computing, which is is a new revolution which is happening and is far 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 ahead uh, than any GPUs. So the, with the invention of the GPUs and the exact more data and the growth uh, of the telecommunications uh, bandwidth demanding to us to generate a better algorithm. So this algorithm is the, is the, the main brain of the AI. And there are so, so many algorithms across the, uh, right now in the market, uh, TPUs, for example, and there's, uh, they're particularly designed, some for uh, banking, some are for oil and gas, some are for energy. And the, the development of algorithm is always going on, and this is making the success of AI. Now, let's talk about some of the AI application in demand. Okay. Well, uh, this is not all, but I took an example, knowledge-based, one of them, computer vision, expert system, deep learning, natural language processing, machine learning. Uh, knowledge-based is used to store, for example, complex structure uh, and unstructured information by a computer system. That can facilitate for you the process in a very uh, fast manner. And of course, I was highlighting a big data. Expert systems. Expert system is very well, vastly used, uh, of course, in AI, uh, in order to emulate decision making ability to human expert system. For example, let's say, an example, banks wants to give a loan. Shall I give this loan? There are hundreds, perhaps if not thousands of parameters to calculate. So, computers are assisting you and taking all these formulas into consideration facilitate for you an expert system decision. Computer vision, we have an eyes, we do see the objects and we recognize, oh, this is computer, this is phone, this is table, like this. So we start looking the object and we recognize what this object and what this objects can do for me. Likewise, computer vision. Computer vision is a science uh, that deals with the, how computers can gain high level understanding of digital images. So why, by looking to the image, you recognize what is this image, and what this image can do. So it is, for example, to take any picture and give it to computer vision, it will scale, say, yeah, the picture, there's a dog, there's a car, and start looking to the image and bringing an object's name to you. How fast is this going to help you in, in, in scanning thousands and millions of, 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 of pictures? Of course, machine learning is very, it's the brain, all right? It is an application, it's an artificial application that provides systems the ability to automatically learn, learn. The way we learn, there is a way that we're letting the computers to learn. Now, remember, there's a cordless environment. There's nothing to code behind. The, the computer learns from the data. So it is a learning system which is happening there, okay? And improve the, the action, the decision. So machine learning focus on the development of computer programs that can access a large set of data and learn by themselves without human intervention. Initially, we feed their smart algorithm and they start learning by itself. Deep learning, of course, is a subset of machine learning, and that's a technique which is computer to do comes with the natural to human brains because there's a neural network which is interconnect this uh, like uh, uh, what's called the, the process of the information in order to, to reach to the decision. So this kind of application, which is machine learning, as I said, deep, deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Vastly is being used in, in, in recognizing the data and analyzing the data and knowing what is this data and decision can come part of it. And there are different model, the supervised model, 
model, you know, supervised model. We don't go in that level deep, but naturally it is what is doing. Uh, natural language processing, now I'm talking to you, okay, in English, and you immediately translate and try, try to understand. I might uh, change my language to Arabic or I change another language. So the, if you, if I, I cannot speak Chinese, for example, right now, but NLP can translate my voice into a Chinese language and, and uh, easily and, and try to uh, explore my message to the third party. So imagine thousands of languages can be uh, real time uh, uh, translated uh, to the all audience. This is very beautiful. And here I'm, I'm talking a very, uh, there are vast uh, like models from the natural language processing. We will highlight some in the coming slides. So in short, as I said, artificial intelligence a theory Perhaps it's a systematic model where it's a subset of machine learning and deep learning, which is consumed into the smart algorithm models to fulfill the problems. Now, uh, as I said to you, uh, how we can consume this artificial intelligence, we can use it in natural uh, networks, we can use it in planning, we can use it in robotic and robotic, they are physical robotic and they're Robot, uh, system robotic, they are two different, and we can uh, highlight both them in the coming slides. Uh, I already crossed the machine learning, deep learning, uh, the perception. Uh, there are different sets of the perception which is, can be used in understanding a model that can facilitate the decision making. Knowledge base, we're using, uh, for example, uh, Google. Now, Google, Google uh, search engine is, uh, is a knowledge based environment. It's taking information and, and, and giving you some kind of intelligence which you can search easily. Uh, uh, cognitive system is vastly used, of course, cognitive systems to do accurate, accurately fast based investment recommend, recommendation, for example. Let's say I want to do uh, an investment and I need some, some cognitive system to do some analysis and tell me, oh, shall I buy this deal or not? Shall I buy this share or not? They're vastly used there. Uh, this is a very high level overview of how the data is being trained. Remember, machine learning, deep learning is a training process of the data. So there is a very important process here to train the data because you feed the data and you can say, I want to predict the data in this station. That's called supervised model. Sometimes I'm feeding data, I don't have any predictive. I want the computer to do some research and bring some idea to me from the data. That is unsupervised model. And, and by, by playing with these uh, uh, data sets, you're coming with the prediction out. Now, uh, also here, like it's, as I said, the data are increasing uh, in terabytes, if not petabytes, in, in every uh, moment. And decision making is very much and demands from the data decisions now, which is coming from the lot of data and how you model this data and solving complex problems. Now, this is showing a neural network. It's a multi layer neural network, which is very highly being used in the deep learning process, where, uh, for example, uh, a picture is being given to the computer and then it goes from from cell to cell, cell to cell, till it comes and recognize, oh, this picture is a dog, this picture is a cat, this picture is a table, and likewise, start analyzing. And here, as I said, the smarter the algorithm, the better the function of AI. Now- Does it time up, please? Sorry? Time up, please. Yeah. See, the old, I'm almost very close. Uh, the old legacy system is coming to the end. It's very hard to survive. Therefore, the AI is overtaking all the uh, applications right now. It's a very hot topic and it's discovering most. So we have to be formulating our new strategies to think about AIs uh, in order to satisfy our, our coming up workload. Uh, there are a lot of AI tools, okay? Uh, I'm just going fast. Uh, there is one called WorkSense service and you can get a complete AI environment. You can uh, orchestrate it and build your model. We are following CDIC also environment where the standards where you can do a complete uh, like a design, develop, uh, deploy, monitor, test, build and the whole CD, uh, CDIC development life cycle. Um, uh, this slide is very important that showing you there are different types of processing and CPU, TPU, GPU. 
and and deep you and I'll, uh, coda is, is a parallel coding environment which is based carefully used with the tensorflow in in energy sectors um this is our the coverage uh with ais this is our strategies to cover the entire market uh, and energy is on top of our uh, list uh see uh, when you when you're thinking about uh, cloud and ai uh, this is what we are trying to put uh, our ai workload uh, how i can utilize the power of 5g uh, mobile inspection ar prediction and intelligence production control pp and uh, scaffolding all of these processes which is required intelligence we're trying to somehow bring a model that can satisfy a different kind of requirement and particularly for the energy this is a simple case study how uh, like uh, ai can help in scanning the each container and bringing information in real time another one is showing like uh, ppe compliance um, i think and is also doing some kind of inspection or like maintenance and uh, like foil test um, and big data of course big data is, is very hot topic and, and hadoop is on our top of the list and we are putting that as well um this is an inspection model it can be used to look to the some kind of devices as well odp as i said we're offering many kind of services and you can please visit our website you'll find all of this information I'm just trying to catch up the time. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm just going a fast track. We are not competing ourselves with the big, of course, uh, cloud service provider. We are not that level at all. But we are the, uh, the, we are securing the data and one we uh, we are regulating the data uh, as per the one's law, and we are giving complete managed services to our customer with a different type of the cloud requirement. We have many services online. Okay, as a software as a service, and I have been saying. So please visit our website to see IaaS Pass SaaS uh, model. The PCI DSS compliance and ISO standards compliance is all the time happening around the year. Uh, we have uh, almost 19 products of uh, cybersecurity, even injected with each model. And finally, uh, coming to the end, uh, there's a lot to talk, but I'm trying to, uh, I've been going so fast, I'm just trying to highlight that the One Data Park is servicing more than 600 customers on board from government, oil and gas, telecom, energy, insurance, healthcare, and so many others to satisfy their uh, different type of workload. And AI is our partner of the business development. I hope that was informative. If you have any question, if you are, if you're most welcome. Please shoot me an email and I'll reply back. Thank you very much. Uh, dear attendees, uh, Oman Data Park has a booth at the exhibition area. So you can go check all the products and services, meet Hassan and his team, uh, and discuss further. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hassan, for your time and presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And hope to meet you soon. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a nice afternoon. Bye. Thank you.